I heard a big whistle, but the whistle got louder and louder, and then it got to a roaring and got the woo. Overnight tornadoes leaving a trail of damage across the state. Among the hardest hit areas, Pineville, near the Louisiana College campus, and Alexandria. Take a look at this video from near the Alexandria Mall. The tornado damaged buildings, knocked down trees and power lines. Abby Breidenbach reports from one of the neighborhoods that had the worst damage. It happened maybe like 15 minutes. It, it went on. But the tornado that tore through Tevin Coleman's neighborhood felt like a lifetime. I heard a big whistle. But the whistle got louder and louder, and then it got to a roaring and got the woo. The house is a little rumbling now, like I'm a little scared, you know. This was the case for Gwendolyn Hall, too. She spent the night hiding out in her bathtub. It scared the crap out of me, and I thought, I didn't know if I was gonna make it or not. I didn't know if my house was gonna be still standing when I got up. I didn't know what was gonna happen. Her nightmare only got worse when the sun came up to shine a light on this. That thing on my car and stuff just everywhere, and I couldn't get out my door at first. It was trees, debris all over my porch and on my stairs. In her yard, what once was the roof of a building two blocks over, with power lines, branches, and the remains of nearby structures scattered across the neighborhood, Coleman and Hall say it's a miracle nobody died. It's, nobody's lost their life, so it's, it's okay for right now because it can be fixed. And while the city works to get things up and running, neighbors on Dallas Avenue will do the same. I'm happy that all my neighbors, uh, we don't have no neighborhood, we have a community. So we all working together, we talking to each other, everybody got each other back, so that's all I'm worried about, you know. In Alexandria, Abby Breidenbach, KATC TV3. Tornadoes also touched down in Lake Charles. Chris Welty joins us live with a look at the damage there tonight. Chris. Hey Jim, the National Weather Service out of Lake Charles confirming an EF1 tornado touchdown here in Lake Charles. Now, right now, we're not too far from McNeese University. We're off of McNeese Street. I want you to take a look at the damage behind me. You can see mangled sheet metal. That uh, is actually an awning over there and power lines some cut, twisted. Now, neighbors I spoke with out here earlier today, they said that they were without power for about 12 hours. And as you can imagine, take a look at this video we shot earlier today. As you can imagine, it's been a busy day of cleaning up debris. Uh, one house that we saw actually has a piece of a metal pole just puncturing the roof and other neighbors they are cleaning up tree limbs. One 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 man I spoke with, he says he was woken up by the storm, but didn't think much of it. Well, I didn't think it was that bad, really. I went back to sleep. <laughs> really? And then uh, what, what was your reaction when you walked outside? <laughs> well, I was kind of shocked. The neighbors got it worse than I did. Tonight at 6, we speak with a businessman who says his business has gone through Hurricane Rita and they've never seen damage like this. Live in Lake Charles, Chris Welty, KTC TV3. And let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. And Rob, tonight we're getting a sense of just how widespread the damage was. Yeah, at least 144 reports of wind damage with those storms last night. 11 confirmed tornadoes and those numbers likely going up as the National Weather Service is still doing surveys, especially with the storm storms up toward the Alexandria area where I think uh, we're going to come in with more than uh, just an EF1 rating, perhaps EF2 rating and around the Alexandria Pineville area. But you can see most of the damage uh, was primarily over, uh, say, uh, the southwestern portion of Louisiana, central Louisiana, but not that many wind reports, a tree branch down in Lafayette, few other branches and trees downed in the area. Uh, but we got off relatively scot free uh, locally and the rainfall wasn't too terribly bad. We'll talk Talk more about that in the main weather cast. Meanwhile, the clouds ticking around, but they will be clearing out later on tonight through tomorrow morning. Feeling good out there with temperatures in the mid 60s late this afternoon, and we'll be heading down into the upper 40s to lower 50s tonight. Tomorrow, just a gorgeous day. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures topping out in the upper 60s. More sunshine into the weekend, but changes for Sunday. We'll talk more about that and have the complete true view forecast coming up in just a bit. And by the way, we did have a few phone calls about whether schools will be open tomorrow. As of now, all schools will reopen.